Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas. Just finished a 30 minute collective thrift etc haul for you and now I'm continuing on. So if you missed that, make sure to go check that out. It shouldn't be too far behind this one. If you missed that, well if you go back and watch it you'll know. But this is from Little Man. This is my accomplishment sticker I believe because I he made me draw things for him this morning so we're just gonna leave that on there and uh we've got a whole bunch of stuff right we got we got some more thrift store stuff left we have a garage sale here an estate sale and uh another garage sale inside and some more thrift stuff inside so we're gonna see if we can bang that out in one video and wrap this up some is to keep some is for resale let's get started all right i'm gonna start with the estate sale my mom came with me that day um so there was a few things that she picked out there i think she did take a couple of things home and there is a, a linen or two maybe like a little tablecloth or something that is not here that much i know but we got charged a bulk price of 60. i think it was a little high but not too bad you let me know what you think of the estate sale i'll know what you're talking about it's the only one down below in the comments tell me if you think 60 was a little much or if it was cool um most of which was for resale from the estate sale so let me show you what we got so one thing i picked up is this this star uh tree topper made in taiwan so i think that's like 70s if i am not mistaken it's from rickle department store or R R Rickle, I don't know. Uh, and it was $4.99 back in the day. But that's that. The box is eh, a little bit, a little bit torn. So that's one thing. Remember, $60 total. <sighs> this next item. My mom found it, though. So it's only fair, but she showed me. And I said, oh, we have to. We have to get it. But she's taking this just like she took my dog. story time with the Oni. <laughs> one person out of every 10 or whatever hates it but most of you are just used to it by now okay story time with the Oni. so uh i always wanted a doberman always and i finally got one and then um i had moved uh upstate for my um teaching position and it was at that time that my mom decided to keep my dog she just wouldn't let me have him she kept my dog and um, his name was cyrus and he was the greatest gentle giant on the planet he weighed like 120 pounds and i used to pick him up like a baby which might be part of my my spine injury <laughs> um and then he he got like um heart failure and and he had to be put down but we saw this and I can't believe it but she's keeping it just like she kept my dog but I absolutely love it so it is this flawless beautiful Doberman figurine and it's a male <laughs> and it is left in and um, it's amazing so yeah that was part of the $60 and I have to make sure to get that to my mom now then he's a quaint little luster wear made in japan made in japan little wall pockets aren't those splendid i love them so i got those then um and now might be the time and i need to end this video and list it right now uh i wasn't thinking this is a top gun vhs sealed with the hype sticker so um yeah i need to list that right now right now when i bought it this is this i don't even want to tell you how long this has been sitting I don't want to tell you um when i bought it i was thinking zero at all don't even know if i knew uh about the movie might have known somewhere in my subconscious but you know the new one now's the time gotta do it right now okay next we have a 1992 baby bop plush. Then I grabbed 
a semi-used roll of a uh, fragile tape because I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> and I saw these vintage picks, new in package. Uh, they're flocked and they were 50 cents from Wallbaums. Who knows when? But yeah. I thought those were really cool. So there's a little flocked bear and then two dancing Santas on presents. Then I got this little guy, probably for myself. I don't know, but this little, it's like Afghan hound, I think. And there's no markings. Don't know what it is. I just thought it was really pretty. Um, and actually, these people, I forgot, my mom had figured it out while we were there that I think they used to show dogs. Then, I found this Linda Ron, Ronstadt, I feel like I always say it wrong, <laughs> I can't, I don't, it just doesn't come out right. Living in the USA, um, I don't, this was like a, I don't know what it, it was, like an album book, it's a collector or something, but um, the resale on it was, I think, pretty good. I got this Quantro inside bar napkin and stirrer caddy. And then I got this little baby Millefiori paperweight. And this is, in fact, Murano sticker there. Okay, so that's that. But then there's this bigger one and it's not marked or signed. So I wonder if it is also Murano. It does have adventuring in it. It's got like a, I don't know if you can see it in this. Oh yeah, it's sparkling. It's got like a, like a coppery, but then that's Millefiori too. Gorgeous. So I got those two and look at this one. Now this is signed. It is signed. This is um, what is it? Eyeholt, Einholt, I, I, Einholt. I looked it up. They will pop up under that name. 1996. It's. I don't know. Can you? You can kind of see that there's writing there, right? But isn't that amazing? Oh my goodness. So I had to get that. Then I just grabbed this. I just grabbed that. Because I thought it was cute. Here are some more little vintage picks. These are flocked also. And they're little snowmen with pipe cleaner scarves in little cardboard bags that say Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas on both sides. I got this troll, it's a little fire chief in full costume. And this is by Ace Novelty. So remember 60 guys, okay? I'm still going. This piqued my attention. It's St. Patrick's Day, support your local tavern. This is from American Greetings. This highbrows American Greetings. I thought that was cool. That looked vintage to me. Not sure if it is or not. I got this. She's relentless. Hennessy! <whistles> Henny? She's got all the dogs in the neighborhood going now. This little um, heavy metal twin towers. This is for me. And then this I got for little man a little metal Empire State Building. Because when we took our spring break trip to New York City for the first time, we made sure, because he had very high demands, we made sure to get a hotel that had a view of the Empire State Building and it was a whole big thing and he's, you know, Empire State Building. Then I got these Sylvester eight foot garlands. These were sold at Yankee Candle whenever it was for $6.95. I didn't even notice that. So one out of package, one in, in package.
this belt buckle I thought was very unique and awesome. It is an elephant. It's like brassy kind of. No, it's not, I don't know, is it? Because it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Really cool. I never find belt buckles. All right, and a couple of ornaments. We're just gonna go through here. This is 1974 the Bob's Merrill Company again we saw something else in the last video maybe with that oh the Raggedy Ann and Andy Melamine plates the children's plates from 1969 that was in the last video okay Raggedy Ann and Andy uh glass kind of wrapped ornament yes yes and then this one I know it does have damage this mercury one but I liked it. And it's so delicate at the bottom. You see that? It's like pulled and it's knock on wood, not broken. Then I got this one. This is a shiny bright, a little scratchy, but that's okay. It's like a pink on the bottom and a gold, gold on top. And this is also a shiny bright. It's got a little damage there too. But these are these are mine. Those are mine. For my aluminum Christmas tree. Okay. And then these. These are not marked, but I thought these were pretty amazing looking. They look very, very old to me. What do you guys think? I feel like they're super old like super old, like even older than like the shiny bright situation. I don't know. You tell me what you think, but. So they had three of those matching ones and I grabbed those. That's it for the estate sale, $60. Minus definitely like a, a needlepoint table runner and maybe one other, I think my mom got like one or two things that she took with her. Let me know down below in the comments how you think the estate sale went for 60. We're gonna move on to a garage sale now. So I haven't looked through these yet. I have to look through all the numbers, but. All right, so the condition's not like flawless. I'll show you. They definitely got some moisture somewhere a little bit along the way. Condition wise, okay, but this whole bag, so this wide, this whole bag, okay. And this whole bag, see condition there as well. Yeah. Babysitter's Club, he gave me all of them, all of them for $5. I never even looked at a year or anything. 92, I figured they were original, so yes. Now, if I have a whole thing without missing any, that would be amazing we shall see so five dollars oh, all right this was worse than i thought so this is game of thrones a complete first season but it does have some damage i think and i'll put this totally in the description so i th it was i think they had the stuff out and i think it all got drizzled on before the garage sale started that's what happened drizzled is putting it mildly they got lightly rained on but it is Game of Thrones whole first season. And I do believe he only charged me a dollar for that. But they're all there. Discs are in good shape. And it does have the um, papers, the little booklet and whatever promo thing that was. So, so if somebody can look past, it's just the outer layer of paper that's doing that, you know? I don't know. Then I also got these two for resale. I don't even believe I looked them up. I think these were a dollar each also. The Chappelle Show season one uncensored and Chappelle Show season two uncensored. I'll probably sell those as a lot. I do believe those were a dollar each also. So five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they were a dollar each. Then I probably paid way too much for this, but collectively it was fine. So I got this super old thing. Uh, condition is not perfect, 
but uh, it's an inflato pump, an old balloon inflato pump. And he did charge me $5 for that. But again, collectively, I walked out for 15 at this garage sale for everything, so. The last thing from that garage sale, this was $2. It is, it has a date, 94, 1994 Camel. Little tobacco tin. Yeah. I never find those either, so. All right, that's the garage sale. Let me go inside, get some more thrift store stuff, and we might be able to wrap it up. We shall see. All right, let's bring it home, see what we can do. So this is going to be a mix of uh, several things. I'll just tell you as we go. This was from the barn. This is uh, open box, but new. This is, um, I don't really know what it is. It's preserve your precious memories, one terabyte USB, uh, external hard drive, Western Digital. It was $7, but for resale, that was still good. Then the three for a dollar DVDs. I got Eddie Murphy Delirious. I got The Muppets Take Manhattan. And I got the Super Mario Brothers Super Show Mario Spellbound. Those are for us. Alrighty, then for a dollar each, I got the Fanny Farmer cookbook. It's uh, obviously missing its dusk jacket, dust, dust jacket, unfortunately. Um, and then it's got some spots. But anyway, 1965. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then I found a Betty Crocker spiral bound. You know, it's got some little things but no big deal betty crocker new dinner for two cookbook um i honestly don't know what year this is i have to look it up because i couldn't find it anywhere in here but on other people's listings they say it so it has to be somewhere or i'll google it or something i don't know what's going on but i can't find the year in here but yeah dollar each on those then i got this for me uh i think two dollars I'm only talking to my dog today. Nice little, uh, kind of like a sweatshirt. And then they had some half price clearance. At half price, I was like, absolutely. So it's a set. We have a copper gravy boat. And then we have a copper, it's a, uh, Caporal, made in Portugal, it says. I don't know. But we have a sugar and creamer. So all three of those pieces were $2. Then they had this little, like, hand-turned wood. It's unmarked, but it was $2. And it's, a, it's carved. It's a little trinket box. I thought that was very cute. And I think someone will like that. And then I got this for half price also. And I had been eyeing it at full price, $1.50. And it is this ceramic white and blue little like tea bag dispenser. I love it. So cute. I almost want to keep it for myself, but I don't need anything else. Then I'm going to jump over to a garage sale where I pretty much just got a few albums. They were $2 each. I looked them all up um, to make sure it was decent. So this is the Psychedelic Furs, Mirror Movements, Mirror Moves. This is Ghetto Boys, Mind Playing Tricks on Me. This is Tin Machine. That one is, is worth a little bit. This is the Sisters of Mercy. This is the Cure, Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. Um, the cover is in a little bit of rough shape there, so 
this is, um, I don't remember if I'm keeping it or selling it, but I got it because I was like, whatever, I'll keep it. If it's, if it, if the resale isn't good. Wraps Greatest Hits. This is In Excess. This is another In Excess. This is The Cult. This is Blue Oyster Cult. George Harrison, Best of Dark Horse. And this is for me, The Doors Greatest Hits. Ah uh, yes, how could I forget? One more thing purchased from that same yard sale was this. I believe this is also for me, at least for now. I don't know. This Delphine Blue Pyrex split dish with the rack. $5 for that. Then I hit up some other church thrift store that I had never been to and I got a couple of things. So th they had a free, a little free bin. One, I got a little stuffed Hulk. Little man already took that. And then I got this. And it's got a little worm attached to it. It's from Bush Gardens. So that was free. But then I got charged a dollar for this, this little Elmo headband. Um, this is also from Bush Gardens. I thought that would, you know, in school when they have all those headband days and all that stuff. I don't know. So I got that. Then I was going to get this. It says hand painted in Japan. But then I noticed it has a little like bump there. I don't know if you can see it. I feel like something may have snapped off. I don't think that's a manufacturer's defect, even though it is over the glaze, but I don't know. It's a little, I don't know what that is. A sheep? A monkey? I'm, I don't know. I don't know what it is. And it's a little lusterware basket. So I, uh, I wasn't going to get it once I saw that weird imperfection. Uh, but then she's like, oh, it has an imperfection. Just take it. So she gave it to me for free, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And then this, this was a dollar. This gorgeous trinket dish. And this is Royal Copley. So for a dollar, that was a good one. Uh, still at that store, I got this polo for $3. This is for my stepfather. Um, I also got Brett a nice thick green, light green button down shirt polo with the purple horseman. Um, and I gave it to him already. And that was also $3. Then I got myself this shirt. I think it was also $3. Isn't it so cute? Oh my goodness. And it's got a little cinched, little cinched sleeve. So cute. Then I think this was $2. I just fell in love with it. This is for resale. This is handmade, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I don't know, a little, a little apron, a little house coat with pockets. I love it. So that will be for resale. And then also from there, I got two pillowcases, which I do believe are vintage. Uh, I think on this Hello Kitty one, is this the one I couldn't find a year? Oh no, I could. 2013, but I decided to get it anyway, even though it's not vintage, but I got this Hello Kitty pillowcase from 2013 and then this one is vintage I believe oh there it is okay 1996 this Tweety pillowcase same on both sides those were two for three she gave them to me for now we're going to move back over to Island Thrift. I got this Disney Store plush. This was $1.99. That's for resale. I got this 
Walt Disney Company. This one had a year, I think. Or no, I looked it up online. I think it's vintage. So I think it was 90s. This was $2.99 for resale. It's got a little spot I missed. I gotta get that out. This is also for resale, $2.99. It is a Build-A-Bear Crayola bear. And then this changes color, I think when it gets wet or something. This is for little man. I didn't tell him. This is Abby Kadabby. Her wings are a little ripped though, but that's okay. $2.99, I think was, I don't know, was blue half price that day? I have no idea. Maybe, I don't know. Don't know, but that's for little man. This is also for little man if he doesn't have him already. $1.99, I think, if blue wasn't half price. No, it wasn't, because Abby Kadabby didn't have a price and I had to ask for it, so the lady put on a blue ticket, which means blue could not have been the half price color. And this is for resale. This was $3.99, I think. It's a Disney store thing. I believe this is one of the um, surprisingly expensive ones, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of those. Oh, here's the plush. He didn't take it, so this was free also this little guy then I got these glasses because I think these are absolutely amazing these are for resale and it was $4.99 for four of them can you see that gorgeous gorgeous mid-century so we got four of those uh then I got this this might have been a dollar I don't I feel like it might have been yellow I just thought it was cute. I feel like somebody will like it. I don't know if it's handmade or not. I can never tell. I don't know. It says friendship recipe. It's kind of cute. It's this little quilted thing that you hang. So that's, that's for resale, I'm pretty sure. Then I got this for myself. I think I have um, this pillow. It's a throw pillow. But see that? Look at that. It's got all hip hop albums and it's just a lined little book. So I think it was $1.99, might've been a dollar. I cannot remember for the life of me. I feel like yellow was half. I'm just getting a feeling. Now this thing, I, I feel like it's super expensive. So it is posable. I did kind of uh, Google image it and try to look it up and um, I feel like it's a, it's a pretty expensive one. You know, something told me to just look it up because it looks a little crazy. I don't see stuff like that every day. So she's got on her fancy necklace and all this. So it, and it has the tag and it is from the Saskia Ballet. Limited edition. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, look at her lashes. So that's for resale. Then I got this because I thought it was fantastic. It's going to pain me to even let it go, but I think somebody will love it. I don't know. $2.99. Look at that. Look at that vintage goodness. Oh my goodness. $2.99. And then I got this. Obviously, I have to test this. I do believe it was $1.50. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I Yeah. So this is a uh, Jemmy, Jemmy Halloween, um, like tornado thing. What do they call it? Like blows around all these black things. I think it like lights up and stuff and sound. So for $1.50, um, that's worth it if it works. Um, and that's for resale. Uh, this is also for resale. I just have to glue the bottom back on. Nothing a little E6000 can't fix. Um, but I will see if it works first before I bother gluing it. If not, I will just keep it. So this was $4.99, I think. Oh no, we decided it was, right? $4.99, this is Jemmy also. Um, and it is a Scooby-Doo uh, candy bowl that does something. I think that's a sensor right there. So it might, it does something. But we'll see, but you see, it's just coming 
it just needs to sit again and it's fine pretty cute if I do say so myself that's one of those mm, I don't know is it for resale items and then I found these two little Tupperware containers if you can see them and this was $2.99 And I thought this was pretty fantastic too. This was also $2.99, this big one. Yeah. That's pretty lovely. I never find anything cool like this. I really don't. Okay, then I got these two. I cannot find them anywhere. Not a single other one. It's very strange, but ricky drink it says so i'm thinking like gin ricky or whatever so they are federal can you see the shield they are federal they are in impeccable shape these frosted collins glasses or i guess gin ricky glasses and it says cooling refreshing they were a dollar 99 each and i just i thought they were so cool and so unique that i had to get them for resale then I got myself this for $2.99. It is not the Carolina Enterprises, um, but it's General Foam Plastics, Virginia. So um, I feel like they still make them or they made them up to 2000 and something. So I don't know if it's vintage, but I feel like it might be. I don't know, whatever, I got it, I like it. Okay, then this was $2, so yellow was half. There you go, see? using that noggin two dollars i got it for one particular item um but this has some tiki citronella tea lights okay can always use those and then it's got some cute uh village candle tapers villagecandle.com green lovely fine but the reason why i got it was this these magic drip candles okay you know the you know you know the kind that you light but here it says yankee candle company now i looked online i cannot find these anywhere i am assuming completely that they are vintage but when i look this anything by by yankee candle with the drip it, it's um it's some halloween one it's some horrifying drip or whatever it's the white that drips red i can't find these particular ones anywhere but knock on wood they're not broken and um these are going to be for resale so basically two dollars for the bag the other stuff is just bonus great which theoretically lowers the price of this but i was thinking two dollars for this would i do it and yes and then i got two bonus gifts so yeah all right and the very last item from island thrift possibly in this haul i just have to look one more second is this and i feel like i bought it for myself just to have it it was very expensive so I think so anyway, but I just, I really wanted it. Ready? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Um, I had to. It's Con Air, you know, it's, it's, it's the one, it's the original one. And it's just absolutely amazing. Look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, who's having flashbacks? Because I did. I had this phone. I had this phone. So, um, yeah, I had to have it. Yes. And did I tell you how much I paid for it? $10.99. I just had to, man. All right, so that is going to do it for this video. Hope you uh, already did watch the first one. If not, go back and watch that. And if you have not yet hit that subscribe button, absolutely please consider doing so and becoming a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. We would love to have you. And we tend to have a lot of fun here. So um, as always in any what sold or thrift yard sale etc videos i will always link my ebay store down below in the description box if you want to take a browse or you're just nosy or if you like shopping or whatever um so you can check it out so it'll always be there so that you don't have to ask and that's it for now guys so until the next video stay blessed my friends i love each and every one of you